Alright my friends, today I'm going to show you how to get free dial-up connection. Uh, of course, your computer, you can't use a new computer for this. you got to have an older system because the new computers, they don't give you dial-up modems anymore. Which is retarded. But, uh, yeah. So if you uh, have a dial-up modem and you don't really feel like paying for internet, dial-up's a little slow but you know it does get the job done alright so first things first you gotta get you gotta make sure you have a dial-up card right click computer click manage if you're running Windows XP or Windows 2000 right click my computer and uh, after that go to device manager uh, here we go click manage and in device manager uh, I don't know what any of this stuff is other devices uh, modems under modems make sure you have a modem uh, as long as you got a modem you're good uh, this device is working properly connects it whatever uh, you don't have to mess with anything just make sure you got the driver once you got that, go to Google. Go to Google, type in free dial-up numbers. Hit enter. And really, the first link right here is all you got to do. Click on the first one. I'll put the link in the description so you can go right to the website. You don't have to uh, search around or anything. Um, yeah, this is it. Now, as you see, over here... Damn it. These are California numbers. Not all of them, but over there in the state... They're basically all from California, I'm, I would imagine. I'm going to go down, all the way down to the bottom of the page so I can highlight the numbers. Alright, there we go. Now, there's a lot of servers, as you can see. There's a lot of dial-up servers. For some reason, they're all in California. <laughs> so, whenever you dial these numbers, it's uh, since the server's so far away, yeah it's gonna be a little slow but if you just need to check your email or get on Facebook or whatever these dial-up numbers will get you what you need they're all mainly in a 209 area code uh, just gonna give you an example let's say I wanna call the one in Yosemite what you do here is simply copy the number and then go to your dial-up manager I have to create a new connection network discovery and file sharing turned off I don't care just want to dial my numbers um, I gotta disconnect from this I'm still getting a hang of Windows 7 here I'm not used to the, these new systems I'm used to my old Windows 2000 I was able to put Windows Vista on this computer a little while ago and I took that hard drive out and now I put in the hard drive I found in the trash from a PlayStation 3 uh, I installed Windows 7 alright uh, I don't know how to do it I know this is stupid but I don't know how to get to my damn modem these new these new systems piss me off dude they gotta change shit around so you can't figure out how to fuck to do it um just give me a minute here bear with me I, I got I don't know how to run this system everything's different I don't even know where the modem is might be here in control panel just give me a second parental controls getting started da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. here we go phone and modem
Okay, location information. Oh no! What area code or city are you in now? If you need to specify a carrier code, what is it? If you dial a number to access an outli outside line, what is it? I don't do any of that. 215. Hit next. Alright. Now right here is your dialing rules. Uh, the list below displays the locations you have specified. Use this carrier code to make long distance calls. This is not what I was looking for. Click new. Location name. What the? This is so different, dude. Windows 7. I'm not sure I like Windows 7. I really don't like. I don't like this system. You can't even dial into the damn internet. Uh, maybe it's down here. Network and Sharing Center. Now that's what I was looking for. Windows Vista is a lot easier to use, dude. I'll tell you now. Set up a new connection or network. Alright, this is how you do it. Set up a dial-up connection. Next. Windows could not detect a dial-up modem. Oh, great. Set up a connection anyway. <laughs> Dial up phone number. Paste the phone number you got from the internet. You don't need a username and password. So leave that blank. Uh, connection name. Dial up connection 1. Allow other people to use this connection. I'm not sure what that means. Create. The connection to the internet is ready to use. Alright. And after that, uh, maybe it's down here. Dial up connection one. Click on that. Connect. Dial. Uh, you guys get the idea. Uh, there is free dial-up out there. But as I said before, Windows 7 doesn't come with uh, dial-up modem drivers. They don't want you to use dial-up anymore. Uh, they want you to have the newest, most expensive, high-speed bullshit that you don't need. So they try and make it where you can't use dial-up. Now it says in Device Manager that I have... Hang on a minute. It says in Device Manager, just so I know this within my own head. It says right here that I have a driver for my dial-up modem. Right here. Modems. HDA. I should say Conexent. And that's exactly what it says. That's the driver to my modem. Internal high definition audio bus. Yeah, it's connected to that. Yeah. I remember putting it in. I know the damn thing works. Uh Windows 7 sucks, man. I'll tell you. I, I'm I'm right after I'm done making this video, I'm taking this hard drive out and I'm putting this on the shelf. I don't like this system. I like Windows Vista. Let me try this again. Windows Vista doesn't give me all this trouble. I mean, I'll use that hard drive until that one dies. Yeah, it's making a lot of noise, and you can hear the thing rattling around, and uh, you know what I mean? You can tell the hard drive's got a lot of miles on it, but I'm going to put that damn thing back in a computer, 
and I'm gonna use that until it dies then I'll use Windows 7 because this shit is confusing alright this dial up shit is not the same it doesn't work the same you can't do a lot of stuff with Windows 7 you can do a lot more stuff with Windows Vista I'll tell you and then Windows XP was even better I used to have that I still have a hard drive with Windows XP. What the hell did I do with it? There it is. I got two hard drives with Windows uh, XP and then my old one has Windows 2000. But I have all those systems put on mine with Windows Vista. All right. Anyway, you guys get the no uh, the idea here. Dial-up doesn't work with Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7, you're fucked. Basically. Um, but this is the website. I'll make sure you got. Uh, the link to this website if you have Windows 7 and you can get the dial up to work please write me a message so I can figure out how to do it because now I know that if uh, there's no Wi-Fi I can't get internet because there's no dial up modem uh, okay guys I'll uh, copy this link here to the description it says that your video is still up on I'm uploading a video from before Hang on a minute. There's nothing going through the network. Bytes received per interview. Bytes sent per interview. Bytes sent. Ah, oh, crap. I disconnected the connection while I was uploading a video. Alright, um, connect. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I was uploading a video, so now I probably messed that up. Let me see if it's sending data. Alright, bytes sent per interview. It might just continue where it left off, or I might have to redo the whole thing again. I don't know. It's not sending much data. Actually, we're getting 21 kilobytes, 24, 39. It might be still uploaded. I'm uploading a video and then I gotta upload the uh, uh, video here about the dial-up connections. Alright guys, I hope you uh, learned something. Whether you use dial-up or not, I don't know. But if you ever need it, it's here. The link will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, write me a message. Write me a message or an email, whatever you want to do. Alright guys, peace.